Hello everyone, I am Shada Shavarao and welcome to Sada Learning Hub. Today's session, we are going to learn how to create a custom tags in a JSP page. See here. If you see here, we are created a uh, already a JSP is providing some standard action tags like JSP colon forward, JSP colon include, JSP colon param, JSP colon params, plugin fallback you get property set property use bin like that it is also possible to create a user to create our own jsp tags means a tag means whenever we are using the tag it is executing the some business logic uh, whatever the business logic it can be possible to define by the user see here a custom tag is a is a user defined tag a custom tag is nothing but a user defined tag by using this custom tag we can get the reduce the java code in the jsp page and uh, we can provide the security in the jsp we can get the logic and reusability for example we are using uh, 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 redundant code into the multiple pages for the JSP page. In that case, just simple, we can create our custom JSP tag and we can use it what, where, wherever you want. These are the three. Uh, these are the three major uses of uh, to creating a custom JSP tags. These are again I am repeating. We can reduce the Java code in the JSP page. We can provide the security in the JSP. We can get a logic reusability now i'm going to discuss before i'm going to creating a I'm going to discuss about creating a custom tag what is the difference between a standard action tag and a custom tag see here standard action tag a standard action tag logic is a predefined means for example if you see jsp colon forward it is a standard action tag what it does the jsp colon forward tag it forwards the jsp page means it can be forward it can be forward only jsp page one jsp to the another jsp or one jsp to the servlet or one jsp to the html that is already logic is defined it's not possible to do alter that particular logic but coming to the custom custom tag logic we can define your own whatever you want we can define it our own that is called custom tag there are the that is the major differences between a standard action tag and the custom tag now i'm going to discuss about what are the different files required to create a custom tag now okay you are ready to create a custom tags before creating a custom tags definitely you need to know what are the prerequisites to create a custom tag if you want to create a custom tag definitely you need to do we need to follow the some process for that we need to we need a minimum four files those are one jsp page and one tag handler class that is called java class and one tld file means tag library descriptor and one is the web.xml file to configure to your tag see here these are the minimum four files required to create our custom tag the first one is jsp page the second one is tag handler class nothing but a java class and third one is a tld file tld file means tag library descriptor and fourth one is the web.xml file now i'm going to discuss about each and every part in this the first one is jsp page jsp page you know whatever the jsp page whatever the tag you are created you are going to use into the your jsp page jsp is nothing but a java server page it can be used to present your presentation logic next i am going to discuss about 
tag handler class see here this is the tag handler class tag handler class is nothing but a java class whatever the logic you want to execute in our tag inside the tag we need to put it into the tag handler class a tag handler class is a java class in which the custom tag logic is defined see here i am creating a one tag whenever you are presenting the tag we need to execute some logic uh, behind uh, on that if you want to put that logic we need to create must and should tag handler class for each custom tag there should be an associated tag handler class the number of uh, custom tags in a jsp page equals to the number of tag handler class for example you are created a two tag uh, custom tags means each tag associated with one tag handler class means two tag custom tags is equal to two tag handler classes to create a tag handler class our java class should extend one of the following two classes if you see here for example you are creating a tag handler tag handler java class whenever we are creating a java tag handler class we need to extend any of these classes those are tag support class or body tag support these are the two classes are given in java x dot servlet dot jsp dot tag ext package these two classes are available into the java x dot servlet dot jsp dot tag ext package now if a custom tag is created with out without body context then we can extend it from tag uh, we can extend it from tag support class see here i am discussing whenever we are creating a tag handler class we need to our class your class we need to extend it from any of the to any of the two classes those are body tag tag support class and body tag support class for example if you don't want to execute any body into your tag in that situation we need to extend it from tag support class if a custom tag is created with a body context then it extends the tag handler class from the body tag support class see here in this video i am going to discuss about first tag support class after next video i am going to discuss about body tag support class now i am going to discuss about these two classes how it is going to execute it if you are using the tag support class how we can create our own custom tag or if you are creating body tag support class how to create and how to implement our custom tag see here now i'm going to discuss about first of all tag support class in this video now my tag handler class for suppose my tag handler class is extending from the tag support class if we want to define the logic for a custom tag start and the custom tag end then we need to override the two methods from the tag support class those are do start to tag and do end to tag methods see now you are ready to create a without body for that we are extending our class your class from tag support class whenever we are extending from the tag support class definitely we need to override the two methods those two methods are do start to tag method and do end to tag method whatever you want to logic executed from uh, these two we need to put it logic uh, into the do tag support and do end uh, support i will show how to override our class now now simply i am creating public class 
hollow tag extends from tag support class. In this tag support class, I am public int do do start tag. I am implementing some logic here. Something I am implementing logic here that is called something logic. After that, I need to override one more method is called public int do end tag. This is my do end tag. I am implementing something logic at here. This is the thing. Whenever we are extending from tag support class, definitely we need to override it in do uh, do start tag method and do end tag method. The written in the values of do start method and do end methods are a fixed. Now the written values are given by the tag support class in the form of a public static final int variable. If you see whatever the values are returning from this here, those values are public static final variables. The written values of do start tag methods are if you see the do start tag method written values are do start tag method returns there is a it returns the two value method skip skip body these are the public static final variables eval body include under do end tag returns two values those are skip page And the next one is eval base. These are the methods. If you see here, this is returning integer. This integer is a public static final variable. It will be returns uh, some values. These are the fixed values. Do start method returns skip body under uh, evaluate body include under uh, do end tag returns skip uh, skip page and uh, eval page. If a custom tag doesn't contain a body, then the returns uh, then the return skip body. Otherwise, eval body include from the do start tag method. If you see here, the custom tag doesn't contains any body. If you see the custom tag doesn't contain any body means if you are putting starting of your custom tag and ending of your custom tag inside in between the starting and ending of your custom tag it doesn't contains any of the body then it returns the skip body otherwise if you put it any body inside of your custom tag it returns the eval body include from do start tag method. If we want to stop the execution of a JSP page after the custom tag ends the returns skip page if we want to continue the remaining JSP page execution then it returns the eval page. For example after execution of your custom tag if you want to proceed further we can put it uh, we, it can be returns the eval page if you want to skip the total after whatever the tags are there if you want to skip the tags just we can put your skip page those are the tld file tag tag handler class now in this class uh, in this video i am going to discuss only one class it is extending from tag support class next file is tld file see here tld file tld file means a tld file is a file like an xml file in which custom tags are configured for example you are creating one custom tag with your name or something whatever you want name 
those names we need to configure into the TLD file. For each custom tag, its name and tag handler class are the class and other re related informations will be configured. For example, we are created a tag handler class, Java class, and you are created your custom tag and all those things we need to configure into your TLD file. That is about the TLD. Next, the fourth third file is and the fourth file is a tag lib directive. Now, see here in the web.xml file, we can configure uh, your TLD file into your web.xml file. Now, uh, after that, I will show how to configure a TLD file into your web.xml file. See, finally, a JSP page means we, whatever the created your um, custom tag, we can use it into your J, to test the J, tag into your JSP page. Tag handler class means whatever the business, uh, whatever the logic you want to execute that your custom tag, we can put it into your uh, tag handler class. Your class must be extended from any of these classes, tag support or body tag support. In this video, I am going to discuss about extending from the tag support. If you are extending the tag support, we need to override the two methods those two methods are do start tag and do end tag these uh, do start tag and do end tag returns the um, public static final uh, uh, values integer values after that tld file tld file means we need to configure whatever your custom tag and what tag handler class we need to configure into your tld file Next, the web.xml file. We need to configure your TLD file tag library descriptor. We need to configure it into your web.xml file. Next, I am going to discuss about tag lib directive. See here, tag lib directive. Now, how we are going to use into your JSP page? Now, you are created a custom tag by using the tag handler Java class. After that, we are creating uh, one TLD file. After that, we are configured all those things with web.xml file. Now, your custom tag is ready to use. Now, how we can use? If you want to your custom tag, we need to do something. Now, I am going to discuss about that. If you want to use your custom tag, we need to know about tag lib directive. Tag lib directive. What is the tag lib directive? In a JSP page, to define a, some pre prefix for our custom tags, we use the tag lib directive into our JSP page. If you want your custom tag, definitely we need to use the tag lib directive. Then only we can access your custom tags. Using the tag lib directive, we can also assign a unique identification name for your tag started with the same prefix. To add a prefix under the unique identification name, we can use the two attributes, either of the two attributes, that is the one is the URI and the second one is the prefix. We can use any of this uh, URI and prefix, we can uh, access your Ta uh, tag into your JSP page. Now I will show how it is going to use in one with uh, one example. Now using this tag lib directive, we can import a TLD files into your JSP page. Now, for example, if you want, if you didn't import your uh, uh, tag lib directive, but a JSP page don't know this is the custom tag, how we can use it. That's why we are using the tag lib directive. We cannot directly import a TLD files. We can import using its aliases names. An alias name for a TLD file is configured into the web.xml file. It's not possible to directly importing the TLD files. We can, we need to import uh, alias names of that particular TLD files. All those TLD files we can configure into your web.xml file. Now, the flow of the execution of uh, custom tags by the container will be I'm showing how it is going see here this is the flow the custom tag how the custom tag is going to execute it this is my JSP page if you see this is my JSP page this is my web.xml file this is my tag this is my TLD file 
now i am creating a tag handler class this is my tag handler class this is my tld file this my tld file is configured into the web.xml file this web.xml whatever the web.xml file uh, we are configured i am putting into the alias name i am using it, it here the first step the container verifies or checks the prefix of the defined in the jsp page or not see here i am uh, putting in the prefix is yes the first it is going to check is prefix is defined into the JSP page or not. If you see, I am defined at here prefix, it is going to configured in the JSP page or not. If it is configured, after that, it is going to check it is configured in the web.xml file or not. The URI is configured web.xml or not. See here, it is going to check the URI is configured into the web.xml file or not. This is the alias name. After that, if you are configured successfully, after that immediately, it is a, that particular TLD file is available into that particular project or not. If you see in the my abc.tld, it is going to check that abc.tld is available into that particular project or not. If it is available after that immediately, it is going to check the tag handler class hello.jsp. It is going to execute the do start method and do end method. Why? Because I'm my class is extending from the body tag. Because my class is extending from uh, tag support class. That's why I'm overriding the two methods that is called do start method and the do end method. See, this is the flow of creating a JSP page. Now, I will show a real example how to create a custom tag ever worn. You see, I am creating a small example with a custom tag. Now, I am simply saying this is my hello tag. This is my tag handler class. Now, if you want to execute if you want to create a uh, custom tag we need it a four files that is called one is the jsp file and another one is the tag handler class and third one is the tld file and the fourth one is the web.xml file these are the four files now i don't want to go with the hello tag handler class uh, uh, I, I i want to go with the hello tag tag handler class this is my tag handler class this my tag handler class is extending from the tag support class we can extend it from any of the two classes first this video i am going to cover about extending from the tag support class and the next video going to cover about extending from the body tag support class in this video see here i am extending from the tag support class in this tag support class i am overriding the two methods that is called do start do, uh, do start tag and the do end tag see now i am printing jsp writer that is called i'm just i'm using whatever i am using this my custom tag just i am printing welcome to custom tag support after that whatever the body is there just i am skipping the body why because in my tag there is no body i will show is it real or not if you see here in my tag this is my custom tag i didn't put it any body that's why i'm putting it a skip body i'm retaining the skip body now do end tag in the do end tag i am putting just i am putting uh, by custom tag support after that eval page what i'm saying whatever the next command uh, next tags are there i am saying execute the remaining tags that's why i am putting the avail page next i'm coming to the custom.tld file now i'm successfully created uh, uh, tag handler class now i'm going to explain what about the tld file see here this is the tld file i am putting whatever the tld lib version and whatever the jsp version this is the whatever short name here what what custom tag i am going to use just i am configured the custom tag at here hello is my custom tag after that tag handler class 
we need to define it here what is the tag handle class if you want to extend it your tag handle class from body tag support we need to mention it here now this time i am not implementing from any body tag support class i am implementing uh, i am extending from only tag support class that's why i am putting it here here empty now i am configured my tld file into the web.xml file if you see here this is the jsp config after that i am putting the tag lib in this tag lib i am giving it the tag lib uri this is the alias name of this custom tag custom tld file now i successfully i am created the tag handle class after that i am created the custom tld file after that i am configured my tld file into the web.xml file now I am ready to use my custom tag. If you see here, if you want to import your custom tag, the first we need to uh, use the taglib directive. See here, I am using the taglib directive. In the taglib directive, there is a two attributes are there. One is the URI, the second one is the prefix. URI means whatever the alias name you are put it into the web.xml file, we need to put it into the here. See here, I am putting it into the alias name of that taglib URL. Here, whatever the name you want, we can put it your uh, your name. After that, I am using uh, that uh, custom colon. I am creating the hello. Here, hello is my tag. Why? Because if you see here in the TLD file, see this is my tag name. This is my tag name. That's why here I am putting the hello at here hello after that i am putting break something after that i am printing something see finally if you want to create a custom tag there is a four files need the first one is a tag handler class the second one is the tld file and third one is the web.xml file the fourth one is if you want to test your custom tag is executing fine or not for that we need to create a one jsp page now i will show is it how it is going to execute now right click run as run on server and finish see here this is the welcome to custom tag it is the do start tag method if you see do start tag method welcome to custom tag support and uh, this is the buy to custom tag support is the do end tag if you see here buy to custom tag and uh, after that i am printing one horizontal line the seed available into my jsp this is the horizontal line after that i am printing it here if you see now i can explain the flow now uh, once again if you see whenever we are putting it here this is the hello this is my custom tag whenever you are putting your custom tag it can be checked the prefix is available custom is available in the taglib directive or not if you see here the taglib directive is available immediately it going to check the uri the uri is configured in the web.xml or not see here my uri is configured in the web.xml or not immediately it is going to check custom tld is available in your project or not if it is available it is going to check custom tld is available or not immediately if custom tld is available tag class is available or not, not means hello tag handler class if you see here this is my tag handler class based on this it is going to execute the custom demo means it is going to execute your custom tag this is the way to create your custom tag by using the tag support class next video i am going to cover about how to create a custom tags by using body tag support class thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel sadot learning hub because we have many session that would help you to develop our skills and i will be back soon till then you take care bye bye